Hello, this is Chris from Ubiquity Networks, and I'm going to be showing you how to update the firmware in the AeroS 5 line of products. The AeroS 5 line includes the AeroRouter, Power APN, and AirMax ISP Solutions, better known as the M series. For this demonstration, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with a Power APN, but this will apply to the other products. Start by pulling up your web browser and going to www.ubnt.com. From here, go ahead and go to Support, then click on Downloads, and then Firmware and SDK. Once the firmware page is uploaded, you'll notice that by default it's set to the AirMax ISP Solutions. If you happen to be using a legacy product, better known as the IEEE 802.11 ABG Solutions, you would select that instead of the AirMax ISP Solutions. From here, we're going to select our model. Models are listed in alphabetical order, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the P's for the Power APN. From here, you can also select the firmware type in case you want to downgrade or use a different firmware than the most recent, but we do recommend using the most recent, which right now is 5.3.3. .3. Once you have the correct one, you want to go ahead and then click Downloads. From here, you have a Ubiquity Firmware License Agreement. Go ahead and scroll down and then click I agree to download the file. You're going to go ahead and want to save the file since you're going to access it later. Once you have downloaded the file, you're going to want to get to your downloads folder. Easiest way to get there is to click on start. Go to your username, then click on the downloads folder, and then you're going to want to take the firmware file and drag it to your desktop. From here, we're going to go ahead and pull up the, our web browser. I'm going to clear out the address and of course for the Power APN by default to get there should be 192.168.1.1. Press enter and then log in with UBNT and then UBNT for the password. From this page you're going to want to go to the system tab on the very end then you're going to go to the update button here on the bottom left hand corner and then we're going to browse for the file which is of course on our desktop right here and then we're going to go ahead and click upload once you have that you will show you current firmware version and then the most recent version you're planning to update this should also green too if you're going to downgrade if we had 5.3.3 .3 and we want to downgrade to 5.3.2 or any of the other previous versions once you have confirmed you have this page, go ahead and press update and the update process should go through. Once the firmware process is complete, you should now see on the system tab that your firmware version is 5.3.3. .3. Alternatively, you can also pull this up on the main tab as you'll see the version right here references your firmware. This concludes the firmware guide for AeroS version 5. Thanks for watching and again, take care.